burning, burping, bloating. Could your heartburn be a sign your health is in danger? Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is back to help explain why that burning sensation in your chest could be cause for concern. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Always great to be here. You know, we call it heartburn, but it doesn't really have anything to do with our hearts. Instead, heartburn can be a symptom of acid reflux or GERD, otherwise known as gastroesophageal reflux disease. So acid reflux happens when the contents of our stomach, including acid, pushes back up into our esophagus. Now, more than 60 million Americans experience this at least once a month. Now, GERD is the chronic, more severe form of acid reflux. And this can be really dangerous because it can actually cause damage to the lining of the esophagus. You have this lower sphincter at the bottom of your esophagus. It's a muscular valve that opens up to allow food to pass into the stomach. No problem, but it's only supposed to be a one-way valve, ideally. Normally, it closes to prevent food, stomach juices from flowing back into the esophagus, but if the valve opens up too far or doesn't close tight enough, what happens? All that stomach acid moves up into the esophagus. That is what leads to acid reflux, can cause that burning sensation in the chest, or what we've been talking about as quote unquote heartburn. In addition to those symptoms, you can have things like that sour taste in your mouth or a feeling of nausea after you've had a meal or even regurgitation, kind of the food coming back up, burping, bloating, as we saw earlier, as well as sometimes stomach discomfort and upper abdominal pain. In addition to that, if you have GERD, you can experience chest pain, difficulty swallowing, a sore throat, hoarseness, and even sometimes a dry cough. And sometimes people complain that they have this feeling like a lump in their uh, throat that they just can't get rid of. They should talk to their doctors, they should get a diagnosis, and then a treatment plan that would work for them. Some daily do's and don'ts just may help you. Don't wear tight clothes or tight belts. It's gonna press everything up. Don't eat overly large meals. Don't lie down right after a meal. Don't eat too close to bedtime or within two to three hours before you lie down. There's some do's that go along with this. So do maintain a healthy weight. Pregnant women, people who are overweight or obese can actually be more susceptible to GERD. So weight does matter. Do break your meals up into small meals over the course of the day. Make sure that if you're experiencing these symptoms, you elevate the entire upper part of your body. And you can do that by elevating the head of your bed, or you can do it by sleeping on a wedge so that this part is up. We do have a viewer, Vincent, who has been diagnosed with acid reflux, who has a question. Vincent, welcome to the show. Thank you, my brother. And what is your question, sir? You know, when I do experience heartburn, it is extremely uncomfortable. The belching is quite embarrassing, especially on dates. What exactly should I not be eating? I'm gonna talk about foods to avoid. Citrus fruits, things like tomatoes, chocolate, mint, onions, nice. garlic, fatty foods, spicy, really hot foods. Any of those trigger your symptoms? About everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's also really important to watch what you drink. Alcohol, carbonated beverages, coffees and teas. These yes. are all things that can make your symptoms worse as well. And don't forget, don't smoke, because it can really worsen the symptoms of acid reflux and of GERD. Okay. The good news is for a lot of people, subtle measures can really improve their symptoms. If left untreated, you'll have to remember, severe chronic acid reflux, GERD can lead to narrowing of the esophagus. It can even lead to esophageal cancer, difficulty swallowing, choking, Bleeding in the esophagus and weight loss are all signs that serious damage to your esophagus may have occurred or that you're experiencing another medical illness. And lastly, anything new or different in the form of chest pain, pay attention to. And if you're experiencing that and any of the other symptoms that Dr. Travis just mentioned, call your doctor right away. It's really important for you to get a proper diagnosis and rule out any other serious medical conditions and to make sure that you have a treatment plan that works for you. Yes, and of course, for more information, you can visit gethealthystayhealthy.com. Vincent, good luck on that next day. Thank you so much, buddy. You can also visit the doctorstv.com. As always, Dr. Lewis Hall, thanks for joining us. Thank you.